Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What traumatized you as a kid with unrestricted internet access? Omegle in my early teens with my cousin we came across someone who looked like they had hung themselves on camera. Till talk about it to this day, we were traumatized. My nine-year-old son came across someone referencing Omegle in a YouTube video, like though goofy, relatively innocent Omegle pranks some people do. He asked what it was and if he could try it. Never said no so fast in my life. My friend and I once put his webcam on a chessboard and just played a game of chess on Omegle, this Irish dude sat there drinking whiskey for like 45 minutes watching us play and cheering and hooting and hollering with every move we made. It was really funny, circa 1997-ish. I was 17 in a computer lab at school and some kid goes, check this out. And it was a picture of a guy who had been in a motorcycle accident and his head was ground beef. Before that internet for me was, mostly, online encyclopedias. Thanks Rotten.com, that image is forever seared into my brain as the most shocking thing I saw in terms of what I knew before and what I knew after was a huge leap. Yeah Rotten.com was the one that fucked us up. I still never look at stuff like that, new no thanks. A cartel execution, wasn't a simple beheading, there was like 4 or 5 cartel members hacking away at a lady for a good 30 seconds. The video was extremely blurry, thank goodness, but what had shocked me the most were the screams. IDK what I was trying to prove. During the Iraq war there was a video of a soldier getting beheaded by terrorists that some friends tried to get me to watch, I told them to fuck off and left. That was over 20 years ago and I'm still happy I stood up to them. Some things I am glad I never put into my head. I can watch movie violence all day long and never blink an eye, but I have no desire to see a real person suffer and degraded. I saw the video of the reporter get beheaded. I can still reply the entire video in my head. Screams and all. Ura. Rotten.com. Yeah, seeing a guy who blew his face off with a shotgun was pretty messed up for 14 year old me. I was an adult but I still remember that exact pic, and the black dahlia photos. I was traumatized as a kid by a video I saw of an autopsy on a man, and when they opened his stomach, it was full of rice and beans. This is tangential but this made me think of my grandfather. He fought in World War II in the Pacific Theater. He didn't like to talk about his time in the war really. I grew up for a time out in the country in Oklahoma near my grandparents' farm. Being out in the country we didn't have many restaurants available to us. Until a Mexican place opened nearby enough for us to actually get food from them. I was so excited and told my granddad about what I had ordered, a cheese quesadilla and rice. When I mentioned the rice he got an awful look on his face and immediately became nauseated and left the room. Eventually he told me why he couldn't eat rice. Turns out, while fighting WW2 there were a lot of corpses from Japanese soldiers that had their stomachs blown open. Inside their stomachs was rice, since that was the primary food they had. Apparently there would frequently be maggots in the rice that had spilled out from the stomachs of dead soldiers. So, any time he would see, or even think about, rice he would have a trauma flashback to, fields full of dead soldiers. I tried not to bring up rice ever again. My grandfather was in Korea, similar story. He also had to survive at one point stealing rice from local fields and trying not to freeze or starve to death. Never liked rice after that. You win for weirdest comment of the day, lol. I wasn't a kid, two girls one cup. Just a vid about a couple of lovely gals cosplaying as soft serve ice cream machines. The reaction videos of people watching two girls one cup are super entertaining even to this day. The Adam Ferrara one is probably my favorite since you can literally see the innocence leave his body lol. Here's a link, sfw since the camera focuses on him for the entirety, https colon slash slash youtube.be slash hwpomac question mark c equals we underscore xw6f underscore j678 dpk2. The Bill Burr one is great, too. https colon slash slash youtube.be slash dltz3gfphtw question mark c equals w9 webblepopy underscore. I'm sorry what is that? Edit, guys what the fuck I am not gonna look that up in my lifetime what the fuck. Honestly if you don't know what it is consider yourself lucky and move on with your life. That fucking video is cursed. Image of thousand yard stare soldier. If it's any consolation, the poop was later confirmed to have been chocolate mousse. Not that that makes it worth watching. I used deviant art from the ages of 12 to 14. I remember getting a note from someone who was threatening to send people, from the dark web, after me to kill and rape me and my family if I don't join a Skype video call with them. I just left it on read and hope they weren't being for real. They weren't, but it scared the fuck out of me. Sounds like an average deviant art interaction. It's all bots now. Bots make the content, the comments, and the favorites. There are no people left. 
There was that Chechen guy captured while enemy stands on his head with their boot. Then they stick knife in his throat, the sound that he made will stick with me forever. That is the first gore I saw online. I was about 21 or 22 at the time. I learned real fast that I can deal with the imagery, but the sounds man, the sounds. That video of the brick smashing through the windshield that shows nothing but the audio haunts me more than most of the videos out there. I will never forget the sound of that guy trying to breath through a slit throat. It haunts me. Oh man, I just answered this post and then was reading through, and I think this is the same video I saw, posted about. When I was a kid I was obsessed with horses. There was this website I used to visit that was for people who loved horses. One time I made the mistake of typing .com instead of .net. Horselovers.com was people who really, really, loved, horses. Card for life. Amazes me how much casual bestiality was just out there back then. Fucking wild. Fucking wild. Yeah, that's what they were doing all right. Dick Sporting Goods didn't always own the domain dicks.com. I was 10 and just wanted a new bike. Well, I'm sure they featured a 10-speed something there back then. There were definitely things there people could ride. Happy Tree Friends in 4th grade loudly crying tears of joy. That theme tune lives in my head rent free. The Blowfly Girl. Also, when I was 13, I was writing smut with a woman in her 30s. She knew how old I was too. It wasn't until I was an adult that I was like hold on. The Blowfly Girl story is horrific, but I found myself morbidly intrigued by her blog. She details other, sexual adventures. I couldn't fucking believe it when she referenced her location and it was within 20 miles of where I used to live. To think I could have seen her in the wild and never knew. What's the blowfly girl, kinda scared to look up? Edit, on second thought, I don't think I wanna know. Those creepy chain emails that went round in the early 2000s. As you're alive and well posting on Reddit, I can only assume you forwarded it to the appropriate number of people. Before the internet we had chain letters. I still get nervous when I think of them. My parents had to convince me nothing really happened if I stopped sending them. No way, would people actually pay for stamps to send them on. If you don't forward this to 20 friends, in 7 days the girl from the grudge is going to come through your TV screen and kill you. You have 48 hours to respond. Not a kid but late teens, that video of the kid jumping into the sea, hitting a concrete piling and splitting his face right down the middle underscore he was still alive but his face was just gone into a huge vertical crater that moved as he tried to breathe, verbalize. Or, similar thing happened to my little brother when we were 11 to 12 years old, he was showering then he slipped and fell, he screamed for my parents but I was closer to him so I went to see what happened, I opened the door and I saw him, his forehead skin was just hanging, I could see his skull, his entire body was covered in blood, I just stood there shocked, doctor didn't believe that he just fell, my parents didn't either. Goatser, early live leak, best gore, dot the list goes on and on. I was traumatized by the internet a lot around middle school because kids would find it somehow then show it to you. Best Gore was the first gore site that I discovered. It showed me just how fragile life is, and it also opened my eyes to what humans are truly capable of. Sometimes I remember that some people are fortunate enough to make it all the way through life with minimal to no exposure to any of these things. They definitely lived with a better view of humanity than most of us in here lol. I can't unsee that guy's asshole from Goatsa. I wish I could purge that image permanently. You can take your mind off Goatsa, but you can never take Goatsa out of your mind. I'm so glad I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Please don't elaborate either lol. Getting groomed on kick. Legit why did I have a 30 plus year old boyfriend when I was 17 skull? When I was 17, I met a 47 year old in a chat room. We started a relationship when I turned 18, and he was 48, it lasted for more than a year. It ended when his wife called my house, and luckily, my brother answered. She threatened me, and at the time, I didn't realize the full impact of the situation. That was 20 years ago. It all clicked for me a few years ago when I was reading Reddit and finally understood how fucked up it was. Ha 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 why does nobody talk about this tears of joy that was horrible back then? Because we're traumatized by it, probably. Pain Olympics. Watched a gun suicide. Saw a hanging. Your pick. Internet is a scary place. My mind's curiosity is its own poison. Seeing the guy take his time chopping his balls off caused me physical pain in that area. If it makes you feel any better that was a fake video. Easy one. Rotten, com. If you know, you know. You got to see some pretty dark, horrific, and disturbing things on there. Even now I'm pretty jaded and nothing really disturbs me anymore lol. I imagine this is why millennials are desensitized af. Aliens could land and we'd be like, yup.
Yo I still remember seeing a dude with a green parrot perched on his erect dick the first time I got on that site. 12 year old me wasn't ready. It was an old ASPCA video about protecting animals and in it they showed graphic photos of animal abuse to really nail home the point. I was like 10 and the image of a trash can filled with dead cats and kittens really messed me up and I sobbed for like an hour or so. I saw a video of a woman in tall heels crushing kittens to death with her shoes. Skeptical smiley face I'm surprised I haven't read any other comments about that video. I saw that same one sad face. Blue waffle. I still don't understand the blue waffle thing. My mind immediately goes to Percy Jackson.